The Bridge by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. I stood on the bridge at midnight. As the clocks were striking the hour. As the moon rose over the city. Behind the dark church tower. I stood on the bridge at midnight. For more than 11,000 homeless men, women, and children each year, the Boston Healthcare for the Homeless program means relief from a complex physical disease, a crippling mental illness, or something as simple as the flu, and the comfort that comes from knowing that we won't give up on them. Not now, not ever. We work where our patients live. Our employees manage healthcare clinics at more than 80 locations throughout greater Boston, including adult, family, and domestic violence shelters, and two major hospitals. We have a very simple mission, and it's to provide or to assure the highest quality health care for every homeless man, woman, and child in the Boston area. So the goal of our program was to get our clinicians out there. We have now have 75 clinics, and all of that is anchored by our hospital clinics at Boston Medical Center, Mass General. Boston Healthcare for the Homeless program um, hires doctors and nurses, nurse practitioners, um, dentists, um, and staffs all of the clinics throughout the city. Boston Healthcare for the Homeless is one of the places where you know, you can come in and no matter what you've done in your life, no matter who you are as a person, you get treated with the respect that you deserve. I understand where they're coming from. When they feel they have nothing, they have nobody, they've burnt all their bridges and no one cares anymore. I understand where they're coming from. How often, oh how often. In the days that had gone by. I have stood on that bridge at midnight. I stood on the bridge at midnight. And gazed on that waving sky. The Barbara McGinnis House is a medical respite facility. We have 104 beds, which is never enough. Um, and we care for people who are kind of in between other settings. Um, they um, are ready to be discharged from the hospital, and yet to go back to the shelter or the street would be really detrimental to their health. I feel like the care that we provide is really very cost-effective, um, not only for the healthcare system, but also for the city of Boston. Boston, and Boston Healthcare for the Homeless in particular, has been such an incredible model of homeless health care, nationally and internationally recognized. I really view my work or my role as building a bridge between the research world of Harvard and Mass General and the very community-based uh, focus of Boston Healthcare for the Homeless program. Yet yeah, whenever I cross the river. On this bridge with wooden piers. On this bridge with wooden piers, like the odor of brine from the ocean. Comes the thought of other years. Comes the thought of other years. You have to be able to communicate quickly that this is just a moment in time. I see you. I see that you're capable. I see that you can do this. I see that you're strong. I see that you're going to develop into something great. And you have to really make someone believe that, because it's true. You know, working with homeless patients, it can be hard, and it is often sad, but I find that it's just as often really hopeful. Before this organization, I would see them on the streets and I would really look at them honestly like they're nothing. And now that I work for this organization, I know that these people aren't nothing. You know, they're somebody, they have a name, you know, they belong to someone. People think that, that you're helping people in need, and we are helping people. But honestly, I get back so much more from our patients than I feel like I give to them. And I think how many thousands of care and comfort men each bearing his burden of sorrow. Have crossed the bridge since then. Has crossed the bridge since then. Have crossed the bridge since then. <laughs>